Hi everyone. So today we're gonna do a fun little craft on making different types of clouds. So what kind of clouds are we gonna make? Let me show you. We're gonna first do our cirrus clouds, which sit high up in the sky and look like wisps. Then we're gonna make cumulus clouds, which are our puffy clouds with flat bottoms. And then our last one we're gonna make are our stratus clouds, which look like blankets that sit lower in the sky. So we have our cirrus, which are our wispy, our cumulus, which are our puffy with flat bottom, and our stratus, which look like blankets. So first, taking your piece of paper and some cotton balls with your glue stick, I want you to pull apart gently your cotton ball to make it a wispy cloud. So just by pulling it apart in little pieces without pulling it entirely apart, you wanna make a wispy cloud. So it looks like this. And then with your glue stick, you're gonna glue your paper and stick it on the top. And these are going to be our cirrus clouds. So just like this, cirrus clouds. Next, we're gonna do our cumulus clouds. These are our puffy clouds. So with your cotton balls, you're just gonna lightly pull them apart a little tiny bit. Not too much, because you want them to be nice and puffy. And you're gonna glue these onto your paper, and you wanna try to keep a flat bottom, because cumulus clouds are flat on the bottom just like this, cumulus clouds. So nice flat bottoms and nice puffy tops. Next, we're gonna make our stratus clouds, which look like blankets. And to do that, you're gonna take your cotton ball and you're just gonna break it apart just a little bit and then unravel it to make sheets like a blanket. So here's our stratus clouds. They look like blankets up in the sky. They're nice, long, flat clouds. So take your glue stick, put a line across the bottom, and then glue your stratus clouds right on like a little blanket. Next, we're gonna make our storm clouds. So these, you're just gonna paste on some cotton balls and make your clouds with a black marker you're gonna take it and nice and gently, just roll it over your clouds to make them black and stormy. So nice and gently, color them up, just like that. Now next with your yellow marker, you're gonna make your lightning bolts coming down from all your clouds. So just draw on your lightning bolts as many as you want and then with your blue marker, you're gonna take and draw your raindrops. So here we have a stormy cloud. Now we're gonna do a rain cloud. So clouds with just rain coming out of them. So take your cotton balls and glue them on for your clouds and then draw your raindrops coming down. And there we have a rain cloud. And now we're gonna do our partly cloudy. So you're gonna take your cotton balls and your glue stick, glue your clouds on, draw a sun on part of your clouds. So your clouds cover part of your sun to make it a partly cloudy day. And then our last one we're gonna do today is our rainbow clouds. So with your markers and the color of the rainbow, you're gonna draw your rainbow on and then you're gonna glue your cotton onto the ends of the rainbow to make your clouds. You can write your name on the bottom, and then if you really wanna get creative, you can do a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So it'll look like this, your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow with your clouds. All right, so a quick recap. We have our cirrus clouds, which are wispy, our cumulus clouds, which are nice and puffy and flat on the bottom, and then our stratus clouds that look like blankets that sit low in the sky. We have our stormy clouds that are dark and scary looking with our lightning bolts and our rain coming down. 
And then we have our rain clouds that just rain. And then our partly cloudy. Our partly cloudy means the sun peeks out, but not entirely. And then our last one, the rainbow. So here's a little lesson on clouds. So let's go over some fun facts first. Did you know that clouds are just made of raindrops? Whole bunches of raindrops all in one little spot make a cloud. Do you know why clouds are white? Clouds are white because they reflect our sun, making them nice and bright and white. So what makes rain clouds look gray and stormy clouds look like black? Well, what happens is so many raindrops get stuck up in that cloud, making them really dense and heavy. That's all the rain that's getting ready to come out of our cloud. Once there's too many raindrops in that cloud, what happens? It starts to rain. Now there is one color cloud you don't wanna see, and that is green. What does a green cloud mean? A tornado's coming. That's pretty scary. Depending on what kind of clouds you see up in our sky, determines what kind of weather's coming our way. So when you see bright, puffy, white clouds coming, we're usually gonna have pretty good weather. If you see stratus clouds or dark gray clouds, could be rain coming. Have you ever sat outside and looked at our clouds to see if you can see anything in them, like dragons and turtles? It's pretty fun, give it a try. Have you ever wondered why there's clouds behind where the airplane drove? Those are really actually clouds. What happens is the hot exhaust from our airplane hits the cold air and creates ice crystals, which make clouds. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's talk about our different weather patterns that come that our clouds actually indicate. So our cirrus clouds that sit really high up in the sky typically mean that there's going to be a change in our weather. Doesn't always have to be bad weather, but something's gonna change. Then our cumulus clouds, which are our puffy ones with the flat bottoms, usually tell us that we're gonna have a nice day. It might be warm, it might be sunny. You never do know, but cumulus clouds usually bring nice weather. Then our stratus clouds. You see stratus clouds in our sky, typically what comes behind it could be rain and it could be a thunderstorm. So you see those flat blankets of clouds, Typically it means bad weather's on its way. It could also mean it's going to snow. All right, so we talked about rain clouds, but what actually makes the rain fall out of the cloud? We're gonna show you a cool demonstration on what happens in the cloud and why it actually rains. Okay, so we have our jar of water, and then we have our foamy shaving cream, not the gel, because the gel won't work, and then we have blue food coloring. So we're gonna take our jar and we're gonna fill it with shaving cream on the top of the water to make the cloud. The All right, so there's our cloud on top of our water. Now Erin is carefully gonna drop some drops of blue food dye onto our cloud. Okay, so now we're gonna wait for it to start raining. So we put our blue food dye on top of our rain cloud. So now we're gonna sit and wait for it to start dropping down. Everybody, when the rain goes down super hard, it explodes. Yes, because it's heavy in our cloud and there's too much rain droplets in them, so it starts raining. comes our rain because it's getting too heavy in our cloud. So now it has to come somewhere and it comes down to our ground. There it goes. There's our rain. So there you have how a rain cloud rains. It gets so heavy with the rain droplets, which are our food dye, that they start to come out. So a pretty neat little experiment to show how clouds rain. Erin's 
is a red cloud that really downpoured. Why really downpouring? He's got a downpouring red rain, my goodness. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit about clouds. I hope you guys had fun today and we'll see you soon. Bye.